Now, extreme weather has driven hunger in South Sudan to unprecedented levels as access to food is pushed out of reach for families who were previously able to feed themselves. Our next report, getting you more. Climate extremes are causing erratic weather patterns in sub-Saharan Africa. Droughts, floods and storms are more frequent and intense than ever before. South Sudan is on the front lines of this climate crisis and millions of its citizens are living with the gruesome daily reality. As South Sudan continues to heat up twice as fast as the global average rate, a double-edged sword of drowning and drying has made life for farming and pastoralist communities nearly impossible. The World Food Programme says that South Sudan is suffering a catastrophic combination of extreme climate events. And four years of flooding around the Bentu in South Sudan have led to widespread displacement. Submersion of villages, farm and grazing land affecting more than a million people. The largest food and nutrition crisis in history today persists. This year, 345 million people continue to be acutely food insecure, while hundreds of millions of people are at risk uh, of worsening hunger. The causes of this food crisis are manifold. Climate change and unrelenting disasters, an added pressure from persistent food price inflation and mounting debt distress or stress amid uh, an expected slowdown in the global economy. With supply routes cut off by fighting in Sudan, almost 8 million people or two-thirds of the population are facing crisis or worse, levels of hunger. WFP warns that this is the highest number ever, surpassing record numbers during country's civil war. Now, according to the UN agency's latest report, a rainfall in March and April was at least 50% above long-term averages over the Lake Victoria Basin. And the above average rainfall is now identified as the key source of flooding in the southern region. Further frequent flood zone surveys in the worst hit parts have made one thing clear, that the waters are not receding. At least not fast enough for the land to dry out, for waterlogged crops to recover or for displaced families to return to their homes. Canada, Kilgamaya. These are people with no income, no food for school children no toilets and no clean drinking water for the children. The water here is unclean. The rainy season is here and we do not have plastic sheets. All their houses are underwater, so no one can stay there. We will be here on this dry island without shelter. The situation in South Sudan is worsened by rising food and fuel prices together with the ongoing conflict. The WFP has now launched an urgent appeal for funds, calling for an additional $567 million over the next six months in order to keep life-saving assistance going and to invest in long-term resilience building initiatives. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.